Hello, everyone. This is Jay Sanford, Director of Investment Strategy at Washington Financial Group. Thought I would check in, discuss a little bit about Q1, the good, the bad, and the ugly, uh, break out the proverbial crystal ball, which is outrageously cloudy right now, and talk a little bit about Q2 and beyond. Um, coming to you today, April 2nd. 2020 at about 1.50 p.m. And I mentioned the date and time for a couple reasons. Um, today would have been the Nats home opener against the New York Mets. Uh, first pitch would have been at 1.05 Eastern Standard Time. And before that, obviously, the World Championship banner would have been unfurled at Nats Park. So, um, looking forward to that happening, hopefully in the near future. Certainly looking forward to more normalcy here in the nation's capital. I am talking to you uh, directly from WFG headquarters in McLean, Virginia. Uh, similar to my mother and my therapist, the U.S. government considers me essential. So I was able to leave my house in Washington, D.C. and drive across state lines to Virginia to be here in the office today. As I had mentioned in a previous post, we do have uh, at least two people in the office at all times. We want to make sure that we're getting the mail, that we are processing uh, checks, and making sure that business that needs to be done here in the office is done in an efficient manner. So today, Thursday, was my day to be in the office, and I thought I would uh, talk to you all why, while I am here. Q1, what can you say? Uh, very difficult. Um, equities alone, uh, depending on what part of the equity market you are in, a well-diversified equity portfolio did not really receive any relief from any one sector. Uh, you had emerging markets, international down in the 20s. You had U.S. stocks right around down 20%. Small caps, goodness, those were down in the 30s. So a uh, an equity portfolio got hit pretty hard in Q1. If you added bonds to your portfolio, you did create uh, some good diversification. You obviously lost less. Now, it did depend on what bonds you owned. Um, Treasuries, mortgage-backed securities were generally positive for the quarter, while corporates and municipal bonds uh, were negative. So um, a well-diversified portfolio with both stocks and bonds uh, didn't see the massive downdraft that you saw in March, but you still were um, seeing negative returns, considerable negative returns for Q1. Q2 and beyond, gosh, it is tough to tell. You know, uh, putting together a playbook and putting together um, ideas for something that has never uh, really transpired here in the U.S. and around the world can be a very difficult task. Uh, we do have the uh, ability, privilege, to be able to speak to some pretty uh, brilliant people in the uh, financial industry some of the best minds uh, we do have access to. Uh, one of the people that uh, I listen to and I, I like to read um, is a portfolio manager with T. Rowe Price, David Icewert. Uh, he put together a small playbook and I thought it was pretty good. Um, he was looking at all the recessions, you know, when equities kind of turn around, when they bottom out, and um, he noticed a pattern that basically was, well, when things stop getting worse, equity markets turn, at least stop and turn around a bit quicker than the economy in general. And so in this instance, obviously this is um, a very different recession that we have seen in the past. Um, so what does stop getting worse really look like? 
in this environment. And quite frankly, it might mean that the um, infection rate slows and uh, it peaks and turns back around. So uh, that's one of the things that we're looking at, obviously, through um, the news, through all the doctors that we're hearing, uh, all the researchers that peak infection rate is still is a ways away here in the United States. And that basically means that we're going to see some pretty good volatility in the equity and bond markets going forward in Q1, or I'm sorry, in Q2. So we are staying the course. We're obviously looking for opportunities when there are some. I think if you are in 401ks, have the ability to invest on a monthly basis, you continue to do so. We think that in 2021, 2022, these types of, uh, this type of market will be turned around and you're going to see uh, some pretty good growth. Obviously, uh, the government is, uh, is behind trying to make sure, number one, that we stem the tide in the financial markets and two, are ready to move forward once this virus uh, is contained and or dealt with on some level. So we have massive and virtually unconstrained physical and monetary stimulus in the hopper ready to go once we get a clear view on this virus. So we think that once we do get that view, uh, we could see the uh, recession coming out and certainly uh, progress in the financial markets um, springboard into action. It kind of came in very quickly. We thought we might see a V in this, but it's more looking like a U, which is to say that uh, we had a pretty quick downdraft, obviously, in March. We could see that continuing through Q2, leveling out, and then uh, springboarding back out, more of a U shape than a V shape. Um, people are always asking me what I'm reading. What uh, what am I watching? That sort of thing. I saw a great piece from Michael Lewis yesterday in Bloomberg. You should check that out. It's uh, COVID-19. I always appreciate the way uh, Michael Lewis thinks. Uh, if you remember, he was the author of the big short, Flash Boys, a um, couple baseball books, that sort of thing. So check that out. Um, personally speaking, uh, I've been able to catch up on just about everything possible on Netflix and Amazon Prime, as I'm sure you have as well. Uh, I was able to watch 1917, great movie, watch the new Star Wars, thought that was pretty good. Uh, Tiger King, if you haven't watched that, you know, I don't know what planet you're living on these days. Ozark was amazing, uh, huge Jason Bateman fan. And I did watch the Dave Chappelle uh, Mark Twain Award, uh, which I believe is on Netflix as well, which was really funny. A little off color, uh, so be careful if the kids are around, but uh, uh, great to uh, see Washington, D.C. at its best there and the D.C. Improv. We actually had uh, Derek Coburn, uh, one of our partners here at Washington Financial Group, uh, quoted in the Wall Street Journal a couple days ago, not for his financial prowess, but for his parenting skills and creating a schedule for uh, his kids, uh, Dexter and Caleb. So uh, if you have access to the Wall Street Journal, kind of go back and, and take a look at what Derek had to say there. Um, as always, communication is key. So if you need us, uh, please do not hesitate to reach out via phone, via email. We are here. We are ready to answer any questions that you have. We are just ready to talk. Uh, I know sometimes it is great to hear from us, but we love hearing from you as well. Your stories, how you're getting through uh, the, the day, um, how you're making it with your kids, that sort of thing. It's uh, all part of, of helping each other out and, and having the, the humanity between us all uh, to get through this. So uh, do not hesitate to give us a call. We love talking to you. We think communication is key. If you have any questions or concerns with your portfolio or your financial plan, uh, we are here to help and here to review it for you. Until then, um, great talking to you. Thanks for listening and look forward to talking to you again. 
and look forward to seeing you when absolutely possible. Thanks. That's going to do it for this week's show. Thanks for listening. If you have a question that you'd like us to address in a future episode, shoot us an email at info at washfinancial.com. If you enjoy our show, we'd love for you to subscribe on iTunes or wherever you access your podcasts. The opinions voiced in this program are for general information only and are not intended to provide specific advice or recommendations for any individual. To determine which investments may be appropriate for you, consult with your attorney, accountant, financial or tax advisor prior to investing. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member FINRA and SIPC. Investment advice offered through Global Retirement Partners, LLC, a registered investment advisor. Global Retirement Partners, Washington Financial Group, a division of Hub International Mid-Atlantic and Hub International are not affiliated with LPL Financial. Greetings from Jason. Oh my God. Hello and, uh, oh, geez. Greetings. This is Jay Sanford, Director of Investment Strategy at. Oh. Greetings. This is Jay Sanford, Director of blah, 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 blah. Hello, everyone. This is Jay Sanford, Director of Investment Strategy at Washington Financial Group. Thought I would check in with you 